Welcome to my neighborhood. I'm going to channel my inner Mr. Rogers. I'm going to gear this towards three, five players, how to ATP. It could be that simple. I'm going to talk slower this time. Got a lot of feedback from you people at home and pickleball lovers. Don't forget to have a good day. Beginners of all skill levels, including 2Os, you are welcome here at the Pickleball Pirates. We are inclusive. So welcome to my neighborhood. Welcome to my neighborhood. Don't forget to have a good day. And if you're a beginner, it's really nice having you. I'm in the top right-hand corner. I stand out like a painted duck, and I just defended the ATP horribly. Don't let this happen to you. The main thing 3O players do wrong when they ATP in, I think ATP in is a word. Again, I'm talking very slow is they hit that ball too soon, right? That ball is going out wide. Waiting till the ball gets to the lowest point is what we have to do. Keith did not have this angle in this situation. So do we want to hit the ball when it's ascending or descending? Descending, yeah, very good. I'm very proud of you. We need that angle to get around the post, right? Does hidden severe angle dinks open up the ATP? Yes or no? Give me your answer. Very good. I'm very proud of you. What do you want, a medal? The ATP is coming right here. It's set up by a severe dink, right? So if you're in a dinking battle with someone with severe angles, this is when to look for the ATP. It should click in your head, right? It's such a fun shot to hit. If you're a 3-0 player, I'm telling you, you got to try it. Severe angle dink. It opens it up and then Ed hits it. It's beautiful, right? And he hits that ball when it's descending. Just something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. One more thing to think about. If you're ATP in and you don't have it, what do you do? Probably lob, right? Or dink middle, right? Dink middle, shallow. Or try to hit your opponent. Because if you're ATP in, they're trying to defend it, right? So you can try just to hit them out, right? Here it is again. We saw that in the very first example, right? Don't get nervous. Let me put this music on. It's really common. And look at Keith, is he going to make this one? No, right? What should he have done? Most 3-0 players really want that forehand ATP, right? The backhand ATP, a lot of them don't quite have that backhand. It's somewhat risky. You might need to really flick that wrist. It depends. If you're a 3-0, you want to work up to 3-5. You need a drill-in partner. So find one at the rec play court and hear you today. If you're playing outdoors, see which way the wind is blowing. If it's blowing right to left, it'd be easier to ATP on the right side because the wind will help shape that ball in. Yeah, makes sense, right? And take a look at this. All eyes should be on Ed Perez, top right-hand corner. He's a pro. He hits a beautiful ATP, right? And this is just a beautiful ATP. If you're a 3-0 and you're bored one night, try it in rec play the whole time. You follow these simple steps and welcome to my neighborhood, 3-0 players. Very nice having you here. <laughs> you're gonna ATP in a rec play court near you and say, get off my court, get off my court right now. Now that you know how to ATP, the next step is arguing over line calls. Was this in or out? Another video has to be done. I'm on it. I'm getting clip on the phone right now. Pickleball lovers, have you seen this video? It was so good. And if you're a 3-0, thank you so much for watching this channel, number one. But number two, do you try to ATP in rec play? And how can I help you? I have more time. I'd like you to collect, but I have more time. What's the question? Yeah, so you want to hit the ball when it's descending. Very good question and very good answer. And don't forget to have a good day.